Three, two, one. What's up everyone, Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, March 23rd, 2018. Hope you're having a good day. Wanna go over just a couple things right now. Number one, some news about Binance. Number two, we're gonna just check out the Litecoin charts because we're, we're getting to 80% of the apex on that symmetrical triangle that we've been covering. So let's start with Binance. Binance, to add USD to crypto trading pair soon. That's, that's interesting. Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, is working on a USD to crypto trading pair. USD to crypto trading pair on Binance. I mean, just my first thought was, oh, oh man, Bitcoin losing its, maybe losing its edge a little bit. Don't get me wrong, before, before I go f any further, I love Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin will always be king. However, when things like this happen, things like Abra using Litecoin, as such a key part of their infrastructure and platform, it does take away from that Bitcoin dominance feeling, right? Everybody needs Bitcoin to trade on Binance right now. You have to, like, you, that's the pair that you, that you need to use. You can use Ethereum as well, but in general, uh, I think adding a fiat pair is going to be huge. So, so basically this article, I'll post a link for you. Really, they're just saying they're headquartered in Hong Kong, but they've always wanted to move out. China has unpredictable, unpredictable cryptocurrency regulations, so Binance wanted to find a new base. They thought about moving to Japan, that didn't work, so they decided to move to Malta. Opening an office on Mal in Malta gives Binance several advantages, one of which is that they can start to set up a fiat to crypto pair, allowing people to purchase crypto directly with USD or the Euro. So, very cool. And here we go. We are very confident. We can announce a banking partnership there soon. Malta is very progress progressive when it comes to crypto and fintech. So we'll see how this progresses. We'll see how it has an effect on Bitcoin at all. I, I think I'm saying this just because Binance is a, is a big exchange. If you go over to CoinMarketCap, Binance is over there. And you can just see the list of all these exchanges. And Binance has some pretty, pretty high volume. 2.2 billion 20, 24 hour volume. Uh, for context, we can scroll down and just look at GDAX. GDAX at 248 million. So that's like, you know, 10 times the amount of, of GDAX. Binance has a ton of volume, has a ton of customers. Adding this fiat to crypto pair is uh, an interesting development. So something that we can keep an eye on. Now we have the daily. There it is, the 80% apex tomorrow in this symmetrical triangle. I'm going to the Lion King for Sarah's birthday. I'm looking forward to it, but I mean, are we gonna have a breakout at exactly 80% while I'm sitting in the play and I can't check my phone? I don't know, but I need to, I need to relax, Akuna Matata, and not worry about it. So, but we're gonna keep an eye on it tomorrow. Something might happen, something might not happen. And that's just, that's just the name of the game. That's the world we live in. It's not like we're at 80%. So if nothing happens, don't say I was wrong because we're just, we're watching this, but now things might get interesting. I hope they do. And what's crazy about the timing of this symmetrical triangle and this 80%, right? Is there are a lot of people, a lot of people that are, you know, they've been calling something for the end of March, beginning of April for quite some time. So it would be, crazy good timing if something did happen so right now we're actually approaching 165 and we've been kind of just hovering in that 162 164 area for it seems like most of today from what i've seen but really want to look at the four hour because i have this this memory of doing a video not too long ago when let me open this up a little bit here we go Back here, this double bottom we had. We were we were just looking for this bottom, came back up, and I remember doing a video, I think right around down here somewhere. And we hit this area of resistance. We hit it once, we had the double bottom. We tried to break it, we bounced back down for resistance. And I remember doing a video here and I was just like, if we can break this resistance at like 170-ish, and I think I actually said 168 in the video. It was a weird number. I said we might see a breakout. That's what we should look for. And 
it was just nice to break that resistance, which we did. And we got that little breakout. And I have this, I have that, that distant memory because I have that same feeling now with, we, we came back down similar to back here, the bottom, we had this bottom where we hit and we bounce off the support of the bottom of the triangle and we come back up and we really just, this, this whole little area right here, it just has a ton of just resistance right here. It's that 175 and I'm not the only one saying this either. Many people are calling 175 a key area of resistance for, for Litecoin. So I guess if, if I can make this video as short as possible with what I'm looking for going into this weekend is I'm certainly looking for the 160 to hold. We talked about 160 support yesterday, still looking at that as support. It's done a good job thus far. And beyond that, I'm looking at 175. Can we break a 175 for a breakout? Same thing back here. Could we break that 168, 174 breakout? We did, we succeeded. Will we succeed this time? I don't know, but that's what I'm looking for. So if we break 175, very good sign. I think we'd see 180s quick. And who knows if we can get that volume that we need. If we can get that volume that we need, maybe we can just, maybe we can just break through that triangle. But again, we don't know. Nobody knows. So on the downside, looking for support at 160 looking for support at the bottom of that triangle. I don't I don't foresee that we'll, we'll be re revisiting and I could be wrong, I just don't think we are. So very, right now I'm very, I'm way more bullish even short term than I am. Always long term bullish, but right now I'm a little bit more short term bullish. I'm looking for a run up. I wanna test 175 really bad, but who knows? We don't always get what we want. So that's my video. That's what I'm gonna go over today. I have a question for you just to wrap up this video. It's a random one, but give me your honest answers below. I know many of you are investing in other cryptocurrencies and that's cool, so am I. And Litecoin, obviously my favorite. It's many of our favorites, but I wanted to ask about Tron, TRX. Do you own TRX? And if you own it, do you own it solely for the possible breakout that it may have, the possible pump that it may have? Or do you believe in the project? I'm curious if you do believe in the project, Give me a few bullet points why. Let me know. I just want to get some feedback from all of you in regards to Tron. So thank you so much for watching. It's the weekend. Remember, get out there. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Enjoy your weekend. And I will see you in the next video. God bless.